Hello, Ify. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I've got a bit of a sore throat, but apart from that, I'm okay. <laughs> you entered the Big Brother house, so how did you feel when your name was actually called out to become a housemate? Because I know that it was done live on that night. Um, well, actually, I, I was actually thinking about this to um, my cousin the other day. It felt so surreal, like, I just remember feeling... It, imagine how you'd feel if you won the lottery. Um... Because there were so many people there and you just wanted it to be you, when it actually was you, it, it was like, I can't, like a sicky kind of feeling. But excitement as well. It was just, it was a weird emotion. It was like your heart, my heart was pumping really fast. The adrenaline was pumping through my body. But at the same time, I was like, oh my God, I'm going in. And then, you know, you think about a hundred things. But it was a wicked feeling, one that you, would it'd be hard to recreate that feeling again, I think. Oh, but before you went into the house, you've been, you've worked on some brilliant projects. You were a professional dancer and you've worked with Cheryl Cole. So, yeah, you... yeah but before I went in the house, um, I, I've been dancing since I was 12. Um, um, yeah, I danced, did, I did fashion dancing with Cheryl on the X Factor, but I've danced with loads of other artists as well. I think she's, um, just, the production we did for that, there was 40 dancers, and that was, um, for Fight for This Love, so that was amazing. So, yeah, I'd already done... Lots of stuff before I've been in the industry and working as a dancer for years. When you first walked through them doors and you went down the stairs, what what were your first impressions of your Big Brother fellow housemates? Um, I remember thinking, I don't know any of you, but I have seen you over the last couple of days. It was really difficult because in the first three days when we were there, we were setting our groups in the lockdown stage, and I got really friendly with my team. I was in a team with loads of really like like-minded people like me it was really weird so I kind of assumed that that's what it'd be like when I went in and then it wasn't everyone was really different and I had to readjust because for three days I've been with a different type of people um so yeah it was weird but funny enough we were all speaking along the three days we all had interacted with each other in some way like whether we'd handed someone a cup or brushed past them on the stairs um we'd we'd interacted with each other for even just a minute with everyone, so that was quite strange. You were evicted on day 38, and so when you left the house, you kind of picked up a mixed reception. Do you think if you had stayed in the house longer, people would have seen, like, a different side to you, perhaps? Um, I don't know. That's really difficult, because how I acted in that house, I was really just trying to be completely how I would be if I was at home, because I thought there's no point trying to play a game or pretend to be any different than you are, just really just react to things as it happens. I thought, just be myself. And maybe if I was in there longer, you'd have seen more of me, and maybe the storylines would be made um, around me. But um, I don't know, it all depends. I just, I just was completely myself, and what you saw is what you saw. Like, I did get into arguments. I argued with John James most days. But um, whether it was shown or, because we always resolved our arguments, it might not have been you know, good TV. But I feel like I was happy with my reception when I come out. Um, yeah, I was quite happy with it. I don't have any regrets. What would you say your best moment in the house for you was during your stay? I think there was two, actually. One of them was scoring that World Cup goal because I really, really, really wanted to score um, and for us to win. And because I'm a girl and obviously everyone would have assumed it would have been like one of the guys, that was wicked as well. And it felt so weird, like like getting that goal in and then us winning. Um, that was good. But then the other one was um, doing the trumpet thing. Um, we had to blow these things for like 90 minutes. And after 10 minutes, I wanted to give up. I just remember thinking, oh, this hurts and it's cold and my eyes are running. And for some reason, I just carried on and we all carried on. And in the rules, they said we could go to the toilet if we wanted like have enough time to go and we wouldn't be disqualified. But no one left. Everyone just kept going because we all really, really, really wanted to pass. And I remember I was really impressed that with myself that I managed to push through it because after 10 minutes, it really hurt and I was ready to quit. But for some reason, I didn't. I just, I think I forced myself to because I didn't want to let myself or anyone else down. But if I'd have done that on the outside world and nobody was watching or the people I knew weren't you know, were my friends and I knew them for years. I most of you would have quit after 10 minutes. Would you say, so, would you actually say that you had a least favourite moment, though, during your time? The least favourite moment, um, 
Yeah, I think my least favourite moment in the house was when I realised that um, Kiva and Chabby weren't actually my friends. I think that was quite hard because I'd gone in there so, like, naive and I'd um, become friends with them and we did get on really well at the beginning and stuff. But then I thought, you know, you guys are kind of boring me because you're talking about just really uninteresting things all the time and I really want to just be able to get to know everyone. And then after I, like, had my little dance, break moment and I looked to them and it just kind of was like a slap in the face I realised that they actually weren't my friends and it was quite hard because I thought you know it was just hard because you come across like a, a friendly person so that must have been a hard situation for you to actually be in because you don't come across that you you know get involved in conflict or anything yeah like on the on the outside like we call it I just really avoid confrontation and it's not because I'm not very good at arguing because I think I am quite good at arguing um but I just find it quite uncomfortable especially if there's not going to be you're not going to resolve anything if you're just arguing for the sake of arguing and you're not actually trying to resolve anything then I just I think it's a waste of time but um when we had the, I had the conflict with them it was like there was nowhere to run nowhere to hide it was really difficult and um and I'm glad that I stood up to my, for myself because Maybe I never would have done that on the outside. I'd have just, like, avoided it. But I had to. Because if I didn't stand up to myself, they would have walked all over me. And I think it was time that they were told as well. But with Shabby, I felt like Shabby did feel quite bad. Because I could see in her eyes, she felt like, oh, my God, I've just made someone feel really bad. And she didn't like the fact that she'd done it. But with Kiva, she just looked like she didn't care. <laughs> so Since it was really apparent about the different reactions between the two of them. It was so magnified how different their reactions were that I could see instantly that Kiva just didn't care. So I was just like, okay, right. <laughs> if you're in the Big Brother house, stop being silly. These people don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> but Ify, since you've left the house, things must it must have been like a roller coaster ride for you because I, one thing which Davina mentioned on the final that you've actually, you know, working on a record deal at the moment. So you, you've got a lot of upcoming projects. So how do you f feel about that? I feel great because before I went in the house I was always working on music and I've been trying you know, to get into um, the music business for a long time but it's just getting that lucky break and thankfully after going into Big Brother you know, now that maybe more people know who I am, maybe it just opens a few more doors um, I'm really excited, I can't wait to start work and I can't wait to like have like my music out and be able to you know, perform so it's, it's yeah, I'm really excited. It's going to be a lot of hard work, and I think um, I'm looking forward to that part of it. I, just, I haven't really touched the ground, really. I don't want to go wild and start screaming and get really excited like I know I would have. Um, I'm keeping it quite contained at the moment until all the work's done, and then I'll be like, yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> but I'm not doing that yet because I still feel like, you know, just keep working and, you know, wait until you have, a, you know, the finished product before you start going wild. Well, Ify, good luck with everything, and I wish you have loads of success, and it was, thank you very much for talking to us here today. No, you're welcome. Thank you for having me on. Thanks, Ify. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.